All right, guys, tonight, as soon as my husband gets home, he's gonna grill the chicken that I need for this. This is spaghetti squash from our garden, and I'm gonna give you a recipe that we use for this. So stick around and watch what's going on. I'm gonna cut this out, cut this in half, and then scoop out the seeds, and we're gonna put it in the oven, and I will keep all the instructions in the description below so if you missed something in the video it's always down in the the description so now that i got this all cut in half if you guys save seeds just you're gonna wash these all off and just let them sit aside and let them dry out what i'm gonna do is take some of this this is extra virgin olive oil and i'm putting it inside just for now then I'm going to sprinkle, I have Himalayan salt. I'm going to sprinkle some Himalaya salt and some pepper on here. And I'll be sprinkling. All right, so I smoothed out the extra virgin olive oil all over the inside, sprinkled some salt and pepper on the inside, and now I'm going to put it on my baking sheet. I got some uh, parchment paper on there. I'm going to lay it face down like that, the open side down. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bang face down. I'm going to stick it in the oven at 350 for about 40 minutes. All right, since uh, Tony's not home yet, I'm going to go ahead. I already tenderized the chicken with their nifty tool. He loves playing with that thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in here. All this is Italian dressing. So you're just going to let this marinate plain old Italian dressing and that's what he's going to grill on the grill and then we'll be back all right so you made it home we got the chicken on the grill yep. and we're just going to grill it long enough that it completely cooked you want to make sure the chicken is completely cooked all right while he's finished grilling it up I got this out I'm gonna let it sit and cool while he's doing that but you'll see when it's done, it just pulls away. It looks like little spaghettis. So we're gonna let that cool while he's doing. In my frying pan here with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I'm letting that get a little bit hot so I can saute my onions and garlic. All right, so I also have a few other things I've chopped up here. Some carrots I have like chopped up real fine. Some blue zucchini I had left over in the garden it needs to be used. Red onion, love red onion. Just thinly chiced, sliced tomatoes, some fresh basil, and three cloves of garlic. So as you can see, I got my onions already in there. I kind of just flattened out my thing and I'm just gonna mince it and throw it in there. So in my pan, I've just got my red onions and my garlic and I'm just caramelizing it. I want to do that first. All right, now he's got that all grilled up. He's just going to slice it up. And I've still got this working. So that's caramelized. I'm going to take my sliced up tomatoes and my basil that I've chopped up. I'm going to throw it in there. Carrots. I chopped up carrots. Chopped up zucchini. And we're just gonna stir this up and it's gonna make it into like a little sauce. We'll put the chicken here in a minute. So that's all I'll stir it up. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in there so it'll simmer it just a little bit. So now he's just taking his fork and he's just peeling that back. And see, you can see the little strands in there. This is like fake spaghetti, but it's healthy. All right, so he's just dumping in the chicken and he's gonna just kind of toss it in there. So we just let that simmer until, you still have a little bit of crunch to your carrots. So he's just gonna toss that around in there. And spaghetti squash, since it's already cooked, you're going to want to put that in last. Look at all the color. Add in the Parmesan cheese. 
just about, I would say, about a fourth a cup. Maybe a half. Probably more like a fourth because we don't use a lot of cheese. And just kind of toss that in there. And now you can, if you get that tossed in there, I would throw the spaghetti squash in. just toss that in the spaghetti squash since it's cooked you don't you want to do it last because you do not want this to turn to mush all right so when it's done you're just gonna plate it up throw a little bit of parmesan cheese over the top You'll still have a little bit of crunch with the carrots and the uh, spaghetti squash and the chicken. All adds a little extra flavor. You can add salt and pepper if you like, but that's what it looks like and it tastes really good. It's like a, a fake spaghetti dinner, chicken dinner, whatever.